In this tutorial here, we're going to show you how we can rescue this image by cloning this wing up onto this area here. To do that, we're going to have to move the bird down in the frame by creating some canvas up above it. I'm also going to create a little bit of space in front of the frame. Um, and we'll show you a few new tricks that's in Photoshop CS4 as we go. So here we go. The first thing to do is to create that new canvas area. The easiest way to do that is to use the crop tool, as I can see and dragging a marquee over the entire image. We do that so we can keep the original proportions of the image. And now we just drag that up. So I can drag it up into the frame and we're about happy there. So this dark area is what's going to be taken away. This light area in the top here is where Photoshop is going to create some new pixels. So we can apply that by pressing enter or double clicking. And there's our new canvas created. So the next step is to create some sky in that area. And there's a nice plain background, it's nice and easy to do. A bit trickier if we've got out of focus area of trees or bush or something, but still possible. Uh, but we're just going to show you on something nice and easy today. So we can click the clone tool or the stamp tool by pressing S. And this ghosting here is one of Photoshop's new tools for the stamp tool. When we select an area, if I select this eye by alt clicking, the clone source, when I, I, I drag the area around, it's now showing me what I'm about to paint. That's not what I want to paint though, I want to paint some sky in, so I'm going to alt click in my image about here somewhere, and let's go back, and just paint this area in. Um, just do this nice and quickly. Photoshop now has the ability to change the brush size on the fly as well, which is really handy if you're not using a tablet, a pressure sensitive tablet. You can now press Alt and right click and just drag the mouse size, the uh, brush size. And if you add Shift, Alt Shift into the mix there as well, we can now change the hardness too. So that's a nice and easy thing to do. So we'll just select over here and paint in this bottom section here. And we'll do the top, we'll just make our brush a little bit smaller. And paint the brush, the top in, just brush this in. A couple of quick strokes. We'll go over to the back side of the bird and do the same thing. We don't want to try and get too close here. This is what we can do to protect the wing tip itself is grab a rectangular marquee by pressing M and then drawing a marquee along the edge of the wing tip there. That was tip that we've cropped off. So now whenever we choose our stamp tool and we select an area and paint, we're only going to ever paint, oh, just going a bit too far there, we're only ever going to paint inside the box, which makes life very easy for us. So there's our sky all patched up there. I'll just deselect that, Control D, and we are now ready to copy our wing across. So we're going to do that by using the, the lasso tool. Press L to grab our lasso tool, and we can see where we want to go across these primary here um, and copy from there up. So with the lasso tool, I'm going to draw just a random circle. It doesn't have to be too precise around uh, the wing that we want to keep. Using the Refine Edge button, we're going to soften those pixels a bit. We'll, uh, by about, we'll feather the selection by about 10 pixels. We're just going to use this bottom edge here just to soften it up a bit so it blends in a bit easier. Select OK. And that's our, so if we copy that to another layer by pressing Control J, and then hide in the background image, you can see we've copied that across. And if we move that around, we can see we have a nice wing to work with. Next step is flip it around and get it the right size and shape for the other wing. They're not going to be exactly the same size. So we shall spin this guy around. We're going to flip it uh, one way. And then, well, we're actually going to start that again. So we're going to rotate it first and then flip it. Bring it back to 
So that one at size, and then we can move him into position. We get it into the buff, roughly the right spot, and even even then we're starting to look quite good. And we'll show I'll zoom into this area here. And the way we're going to match this up it is by just by doing it by eye, but turning the opacity on this top layer down to about sixty percent. And now we can see through it. We can see how well it's going to match up. To rotate it, we just drag outside of the marquee. And we've got a little two-headed arrow appears, and we can rotate it any way we want to make life a little easier for us, which is what this is all about. We can grab this center point here, which is the rotate, what it rotates around. Put it on the edge here down on the wingtip. So now it's going to rotate around. Whenever we rotate, it's going to rotate around that point. It's a bit easier to line up that way. I'm going to rotate this around a little bit more. And it's already looking quite good. It's not quite the right size. And to change the perspective of it, because it's not quite exactly the same perspective that we've got, we can hold down the control key and drag these points independently, which will then change the shape of our wing. Let's we'll drag this guy back out. Remove it. See, we've got not quite matching up on this side, so we're going to bring this down and out a little bit and flatten them up a little bit. That's starting to look good. We've got a little edge. We've moved the whole thing a bit here, so we'll bring this edge back in. And we move this top one around a little bit. Make that look bigger. So now you can see I'm going to turn the opacity back up. Looking pretty good. Got a little bit of ghost in here, so we'll drag this one down. Hopefully that will make him match up nicely. So just doing it by eye, moving one one point at a time. Let's see, we've moved out everyone. Every time you adjust one, it slightly moves everything else out of whack. So it's just a case of going around. And it's looking as good as it possibly can. And that's looking. quite good from where I'm sitting. So we can apply that by double clicking or pressing enter. And now you can see the wing looks good, but the sky in the bottom of the frame is obviously going to be a lot lighter than the sky in the top. To sort that out, we'll turn the visibility of the background layer off and use the select color range tool to select just those blue pixels. And we turn the fuzziness up to around about 40. see there's a few different options here in the selection preview. My preference is to have a, a white mask so we can see what pixels we're selecting there. And click OK and we'll see that these blue pixels are selected. If we add a mask to that, it's going to mask out the wrong part of our image. So what we need to do is press Control, Shift and I all at the same time to invert the selection. And then when we press the quick mask function on the bottom of the layers palette, that makes that disappear. And hopefully when we bring our background image back, that blends in seamlessly. And there you have it. Just need to flatten that. And your image has gone from being one that's ready for the bin to a saleable, printable, usable image. I hope you've enjoyed that. And yeah.